everybody be seated. So who is it who brings this woman to be married to this man? I do. <laughs> That's my line. Oh. <laughs> uh, you guys got this. Come on over here. Be clean, you Thank two you. You can face each other. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, guests, friends, and family. First of all, my name is Matthew Bergen, and I have the privilege of being married to this guy's uh, mother. And uh, he was so kind, they were so kind as to ask me to officiate today. So I'm very honored that you guys asked me to do this for you today. So, did you guys ever think this day was coming? You ready to get this thing started? Yeah. All right. Marriage. <laughs> Marriage is what brings us together here today. I knew it was going to get her. <laughs> So I had to do that for two reasons. First of all, I love movies, and Princess Bride is one of my favorite movies. And second of all, well, you guys asked me to do this. So. so, and actually marriage is what brings us together today. And a marriage relationship is different from every other relationship you're ever gonna have. It's different from dating, it's different from living together, it's different from being engaged. And part of what makes a marriage different is exactly what's going on here today, is that you guys are making this official. So you're gonna be officially married in the eyes of the state of Colorado, and you're also gonna be officially married in the eyes of all your family and your friends and your guests here today. So in a few minutes, the two of them are going to exchange rings, they're going to exchange vows, and vows are promises that they're gonna to make to each other. And by asking all of these folks to be here with you guys today, you're actually asking us to hold you accountable to those promises that you guys are gonna to make to each other today. You sure you wanna do that? <laughs> I've seen some of those people out there. <laughs> Bless you. So at the core of every good marriage is, of course, love. And, you know, Tina Turner said, what does love have to do with it? Well, it has everything to do with it. The kind of love that we're talking about isn't some frivolous love, though. It's, a, it's actual a, a, a biblical kind of love. So I'm going to be talking about 1 Corinthians chapter 13, talking about what love is. So we know what love is by what we see and what we don't see in love. So there are some things that we do and some things that we don't do, and that defines what love is. So first of all, you, you need to be tolerant of her, okay? You need to be long-suffering with her. You need to be uncomplaining with her, okay? You, you need to be thoughtful, sympathetic, considerate. We say that we love somebody, we rejoice with them. We are triumphant with them. We exalt them. We say that we love somebody, we defend them. We actually drive danger away from them. We have a firm belief in their integrity, their abilities. We have a genuine faith in who they are. We need to believe in their future. We need to believe in the expectations and the fulfillment of the promises that they've made to us. When you say you love somebody, you always carry on with that person. In spite of the difficulties, you always persist. Some of the things that we don't do in love, where if we say we love somebody, we're not jealous of that person. We don't have resentment towards that person. We don't brag. We don't exalt ourselves. We don't flaunt or magnify ourselves over somebody that we say that we love. Got that? Okay. <laughs> We're not conceited, we're not egotistical, we don't consider ourselves to be superior to the other person. Got that? <laughs> no. We're not discourteous, we're not rough, we're not inconsiderate. We don't consider our own personal advancement or our own needs or our own interests over the other person. When we say that we love somebody, we're not easily provoked to wrath or outraged. Now, understand that I said easily because there's going to be in times in all of our lives, and especially in your lives, that you're gonna be provoked. It's gonna happen, but you're not easily provoked. That's the key. The other thing is that we don't keep a score sheet. There's no list of the wrongs that, that somebody else has done to us so that you can turn around and say, you owe me because of all of these things. And when something happens to somebody that we would consider to be bad or evil, we don't rejoice in that. We don't find great satisfaction or joy in something happening bad to somebody else. So love is at the core of every single marriage. So, you guys are ready to exchange some rings and say some vows? No. You sure? It. It's too late, you're here, so. <laughs> All right. So, I'm loud, but they're not, so. 
We're gonna see if this is. Test, test, test. Nope, of course not. Why would it work? <laughs> so. <laughs> There's my vows. <laughs> the end. I do. Okay. Hey, Hang on, this a second, can you buddy? go stand by Austin? Buddy, yep, go wait over by Austin. Test, Almost. Test, 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 test. There we go. <sighs> can you guys hear me? All right, awesome. Awesome. We can hear you. <laughs> All right. I'll take this. You're going to have to speak up. Of course. Okay. Okay, so trying to keep this short and sweet because I'm probably already bright red and vein popping out and crying. But as you know, sometimes I can't express myself as well as I wish I could. But you get me. The way you The way you look at me and you know what I'm thinking or you know exactly what I need. You're my anchor, my home. You make me feel calm and safe and loved. I could be in the middle of a panic attack and you just look at me and do your little wink and it just melts. <laughs> You're caring and loving, and I'm gonna state an unpopular opinion, but I love your voice, your singing voice. <laughs> <laughs> I get to listen to it for the rest of my life. I feel like we don't necessarily, thank you, thank you. I feel like we don't necessarily complete each other so much as we complement each other. Sometimes I need to be a little rougher and stronger, and sometimes you need to be a little softer. <laughs> Anyways, let's get to the vows part of the vows. I vow to be faithful and honest. I vow to stand by your side and sleep in your arms. I vow to love you through the best and the worst of times. I vow to give you my all and to learn and grow with you. I vow to support you in your goals and your dreams. And most of all, most of all, I vow never to murder you. <laughs> <laughs> I love you so much and I can't wait to raise teens and then they have grand or they have kids and we have grandkids and for all the adventures coming our way. So let's go and grow forever young together. Nice job. Good job. Yes, I do. No, not that. What? The ring. Okay, <laughs> you have it. Yeah. Okay. So, I originally wrote about seven pages of vows and realized that you guys probably didn't want to listen to them all. Nope. <laughs> so I tried to condense that down to one page and it was all crammed. So I decided to just speak from the heart. <laughs> if I can. I won't look at you. Is that better? If I don't look yes. at you. Okay. <laughs> from the first time I met you, you intrigued me. You made me curious at first. That's what made me first want to get to know you. After the first date, I knew. I knew that you were the one. From then on, we've had a lot of good times and bad. A lot of learning, a lot of me getting used to you living with somebody, getting to know your huge family, which has been both a struggle and a blessing. <laughs> putting up with my family and our craziness as well um, and I've learned that there was nobody more perfect for me <laughs> but 
With that being said, my vows are rather simple and easy to follow. I vow to love you till I die. I vow to always stand by your side and always support you the best I can. And most of all, I vow to do my best to protect you against anything that comes our way. I'll do my best to be a leader and keep our family on the best track. And I want to thank you, lastly, for always sticking by my side through everything we've been through. Yeah. Thank you. You should have ended on mine, it was funny. <laughs> I had the advantage of saying the sun's right in my eyes. Oh. <laughs> Were there supposed to be rings in here? Yep. All right. All right. You're gonna have a tissue in my hand. <laughs> All right, go ahead. With this ring, I make you my wife and my partner. What am I supposed to say? You can say ditto. Same. <laughs> Except husband. Except husband, yes. No wife. <laughs> All right, so by the Power vested in me by nobody in particular because this is Colorado. <laughs> I now pronounce you man and wife. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, ladies and gentlemen, I have the great honor of being able to introduce to you for the first time Travis and Brooke Police. Is it the look in your eyes?